This is a group of about 30 participants who are attending a tourism workshop in Kokopo. Today they were taken out to see and evaluate some of East New Britain's renowned tourism locations and how they can be developed. Places like this white sandy beach at the back of Tokua airport still remained largely untapped for many years. While East New Britain province is growing in popularity as the tourism province, Michael Turkia, a local business consultant, says the province still needs to achieve more. Locations like the Bitapaka Memorial War Cemetery, although popular, it doesn't have a toilet facility for tourists to use, and also most tour guides are illiterate and need to enhance their communication skills to attend to foreign tourists when they come. Having seen the actual uh, cemetery, uh, the participants now uh, do realize that uh, certain things are still missing. Master Turkia is facilitating a week-long tourism workshop that focuses mainly on repackaging tourism products and also assists the participants to identify loopholes in the provincial tourism plan and suggest solutions to solve it. But most importantly is to educate the participants to start up their own small tourism businesses and contribute meaningfully to the province. We need to really package it. Uh, and not packaging it uh, to become another Cairns or another New York. No, we have to package it uh, uh, with the way uh, we live, the way uh, we are engulfed culture. Culture it should be very much part of this planning. It is understood about 20 million kina was released by the national government in 2015 to fund the upgrading of tourism development projects in the province, but its usage hasn't yet been made public. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.